And Dr. Blade Palmer, very briefly, I'll just mention that she is an assistant professor at, uh, at Wilfred, doing research in alternative food systems and sustainable economic development. Her book, Food Fairs, From Industrial to Sustainable Food Systems, was published by Ashgate Press. Her most recent projects include work to develop a report card for sustainable food systems in Canada and a food relocalization project. Uh, she teaches courses in global food security, globalization, research methods, and has a decade of research related to sustainable food systems. Who could I ask, who could I find more better, more suited to comment on this business and its challenges than Dr. Blake Palmer? Can you please welcome her? Oh, okay, I'm running into the short thing here. <laughs> I hope everybody can see me over the podium. Um, I am so delighted to be here. One of the things that we've been talking about in local food systems research for um, as long as I've been doing it now is the idea of putting a face on farming. And I honestly can't think of a better family than the Lutterbachs and the Levac um, business to do that with. You are the poster people <laughs> for putting a, food, uh, a face on farming. Um, and I'm delighted to be here um, to be able to provide a little bit of context and input uh, into this reporting process. Uh, as a child, um, I spent some time on my father's farm in eastern Ontario, and one of the things that we always had on our table was a tub of Levax honey. So um, this has great personal uh, meaning for me to be able to comment on this uh, case study. I'd like to take just a second to commend Natasha and Philip on the excellent and really outstanding work that they did in uh, providing some incredibly grounded and really useful input uh, to the letterbacks and also to the letterbacks for reaching out to Queens and recognizing that you have this amazing innovative idea and seeing that there's an opportunity for building these partnerships that can really move businesses, local businesses, uh, in an even better direction. So you're all amazing and uh, my comments are sort of within that context. Uh, also, obviously, um, to Queen's for offering the opportunity and um, in terms of the business school and the Monison Institute and also to the CFDCs for providing us with the opportunity to meet and discuss these important issues. So what I'd like to do first of all is just uh, share with you this um, quotation from a group called the National Endowment for the Sciences, Technologies and Arts. Uh, this comes from a report that was uh, authored in or, or published at least in March of 2010, so March of this year. And uh, it, it's based on a case, a set of case studies that was done in the, um, in the UK on four innovative places. And I'd just like to share this with you, and I think it reflects what's going on in this room to a large extent. So today's fast-growing economies owe their growth to a willingness to learn from others as much as exploiting their own original ideas. So it's really by sharing information and by learning from each other that we have the opportunity to be really innovative. Uh, in terms of building capacity, and that's very much what this initiative is all about, is uh, there's just a couple of uh, case studies that I'd like to point out to you. The first comes from the U University of Northern British Columbia, where they're doing work on building local food systems. And if you're interested in this particular project, um, you can just Google them and find out more. Um, they've got a research project called the Good Food Value Chain that they're developing for British Columbia, and there may be some uh, sources of inspiration there for you. Um, their research emphasizes uh, local participation, local responsibility, and local benefits, and that's really what this case study is all about. Uh, from the UK, there's a group of researchers out of um, a research organization called the Business Responsibility, Accountability, Sustainability, and Society. <laughs> the short version is BRASS, B-R-A-S-S, -S, um, at Cardiff University in the UK. And they're all about identifying ways to build more sustainable communities. And I'm just going to share a, a diagram from a book that Terry Marsden authored uh, with his colleagues in 2008. And without going through the entire uh, diagram, what's really important here, um, you'll see that it touches on many different aspects of the sustainable community. But what we're particularly interested in, given the present context, is the idea of a relocalized eco-economy that uh, engages in uh, specifically uh, shared community spaces and interests, which is very much along the lines of what uh, the Ladderbacks are trying to create through their uh, Beehive store is they're providing an innovative space where uh, people can come together and build uh, the, 